Now we're moving on the heated debate in the Fayette County Commissioner's meeting tonight over a controversial proclamation to make April 26th Confederate Memorial Day. Now we were there as that meeting intensified. We wrote the proclamation. Our organization, I am the leader of that organization. Scott Gilbert, a longtime Fayette County resident, is the commander of the Sons of Confederate Veterans. His proclamation calls for April 26th to be recognized as Confederate Memorial Day. Scott says it honors the men from Fayette County who fought and died for what the Confederate cause stood for. It was wrong then, it's wrong now. <laughs> In this standing room only meeting, Gilbert and the county commissioners are getting an earful. But I would ask the folks in the audience to please uh, to be fair and, and to be open minded to us as well. We are all part of the same community that everybody else here is part of. I know that there's some spirited comments that will be made, but let's keep it professional. I thought I should show support for the proclamation. There's a lot of passion for, but mainly against the proclamation. You have a choice to decide whether or not you're going to do the right thing. And your names may not be on that document, and you may not physically sign that document, but that document comes from here. Why do we have all of these people down here asking you, elected leaders, to do the right thing? We will not stand for this type of of proclamation. And hours before the meeting, community leaders stood outside county offices, making their voices heard too. And then after several hours of heated public comment, the sound of cheering and applause filled the room when the Sons of Confederate Veterans did an about face and rescinded their proclamation. So we wanted to know why Confederate Memorial Day is still celebrated, even though there's no law recognizing it as a state holiday. Well, the answer why we have to go all the way back to 1984. That's when the General Assembly changed the law on public holidays. Lawmakers effectively dropped the names of all the state holidays from the Georgia Code. So the, the state's controversial Confederate holidays were technically nameless, but the dates were still recognized. In addition to dropping the name, the law required the governor to issue an executive proclamation each year, choosing one day to celebrate what was formerly General Lee's birthday, Jefferson Davis's birthday, or Confederate Memorial Day. Governors from Harris to Purdue issued their proclamations, usually choosing to observe Confederate Memorial Day late in April. Governor Deal, he did the same thing, as you can see there in, in uh, 2015, but things changed the following year. The dates are the same, but the name is replaced with generic state holiday, and it's been that way ever since. Governor Deal is upholding the law, and he avoids the controversy by leaving the holiday nameless.